Hey, I want to take a minute today to show you a website called Padlet. It's it's really neat. It's a great way to get your kids to be interactive and do some really fun stuff with them. It's also a great way to collaborate through your school district or your um, your school building, or in in a lot of different ways uh, across the world through Padlet. I'm participating in a Padlet right now that um, is being hosted by a person in another school district. So it's it's really a neat way to do things. Um, I've already gone ahead and logged into Padlet. It's like anything else. You need an account. You can sign in with your Google account or, or Facebook or, or create your own. And this is my my, uh, my landing page. So I've got several different things in here that you can look at. Um, all the different Padlets that I have and and just different different things that are going on. Um, but I want to talk about the new Padlet. So we're going to go ahead and click here. And it takes you to this uh, basically a blank slate is what it looks like. And this is where your Padlet can is going to be. So what you do is, is over here on the right-hand side, this is where you organize your Padlet and create it and make it personal. So I'm just going to go down here and hit the gear button and modify. I can pick a little um, a little picture to put as part of my title. You know, we could just call this, you know, we could call this Padlet. And and then underneath that, we could just we could give it a quick you know a quick description. So this is where you put a key question or something like that. So where I have Padlet would be like your theme. And then under here is a quick question: How do you use Padlet? And they're just a little question mark. Super simple. Now, I've done this with my math classes. I've done this with um, college kids. You can put a, almost any question you can think of in here. You can put any question you can think of in here. Um, and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick wallpaper. And they have a bunch of canned wallpaper already in here. And they're all really good. So you just you kind of pick one that looks good for you. Um, so you know, I've used the, I kind of like the chalkboardy one. Uh, and the corkboard one is fun as well. And choose how you want your layout, whether it can be free form. So this means when people participate in your Padlet, what happens? How does it look? Can they participate anywhere? Do you want a stream? Do you want a grid? You decide. You decide. Now, when I've done this in high school classroom, um, I went ahead and went with a grid. It was a little bit easier to organize everybody, and they weren't right on top of each other. And other places I've gone free form to give them, just to give them a chance to pick the place they want to post. So I'll go ahead and do that now. For privacy, you can choose how you want to do this depending on what kind of class you're doing or what your intended purpose is. Uh, maybe it's some really cool thing you want to keep private. Uh, maybe you're working with um, younger kids and you don't want they have out in the world, so there's private. You can make it password protected, so if there's just a, a group of you that need to work on this and see it, you can do that. You can hide the link. You can make it totally public. Um, you, you know, you have all kinds of choices uh, in here plus a place to add people for uh, more control so you can invite by email um, and then some privacy things so I don't care if mine are totally public that's usually what I want to have happen you can get notifications on how often your Padlet goes but it's like anything else do you really want that email I mean maybe you do um, if you're doing this in the class you definitely don't because you're gonna see the interaction with your students and then lastly you can customize it with a specific um, website address, web address. You can pick whatever you want to put in here. Um, so I've done Padlet's about flip class, so I might call mine padlet.com hazelwood math slash flip or flip class or when I did it when I did it one morning with my pre-calculus kids so I called it pre-calc one. So you can call your Padlet whatever you want to help give it an easier name for you to remember. And then lastly you can you can make copies of your Padlet um, either blank or with all the posts in it. And, and once you're done there, you're, you're done. Uh, once, you, once you've modified your Padlet, you're, you're ready to go. So um, we've created our Padlet. I'm Hazelwood Math. And now if you're working with other people, now you just share it. And you pick how you want to share your Padlet. So if you've got a, a community in, in Facebook or on Twitter, uh, here's Google+, Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn, all these different ways. You can choose how you want to export it. Uh, you can choose all these different things, and if you'll notice down here on the bottom, it gives you a really cool QR code already built in so people can just scan that code with their phone, and it'll take them right to this Padlet. Below that is the more info, so this will give you 
uh, kind of the basic nuts and bolts analytics. How many posts you've had, who you are, or who was who who created the Padlet and the date it was created. And lastly, the get help part. So you can click through here and find different things uh, that will allow you to, um, you know, to make some small changes or get some help. You know, if you're having trouble getting your Padlet set up. Now to interact with the Padlet, then it's really easy. You just double click on the Padlet and you're able to write. You can talk and submit audio, video. You can add an attachment, a picture, or any sort of uh, like a Word document or a PDF file or something like that. So it's really, really, really a super cool, super neat thing to, to use. And you can use it in any type of setting. So I hope this is something that will help you create a, a collaborative classroom or school culture or atmosphere or, or maybe just a place to generate ideas you know hey I'm struggling with this does anybody have a cool idea and then you can post it in Padlet and share it with your with your PLN through Twitter um, it's really a it's it's a really cool website and I hope you enjoy it